website, you're surfing through the internet, and you see something you just have to have, well, that's what happened to me. I was surfing around the UKLS Lock Sport website, and I ran across a user named RevTattoo. And RevTattoo makes picks, and here's some perfect, just beautiful examples. I saw some of his work online and decided that I had a couple ideas I wanted, and so I just placed an order. Um, these are all obviously custom picks, and the first one, and this is really one of his off-the-shelf picks. This is a, a standard pick. I didn't order this one custom. Uh, a double peak, and just, I hope the camera does this thing justice. It is just absolutely stunning. Everything you see with these black shrink wrap handles is 24 thousandths of an inch and every one of them looks the same just like like a mirror just stunning stunning work the rest of these picks I actually asked for and you're gonna laugh when I tell you what this one's for this is for master locks <laughs> but it's not for a normal like a number three this, these are for master lock like the 532s and the 570s that are real picky or uh, real selective I guess try not to use a pun to about their pick placement on their pins uh, they really like precise uh, pick placement in order to pick open and this is what I was after so I drew a sketch sent it to him a little bit pointy in terms of um, the tip of that pick but that's exactly what I wanted my theory was that if it had a little bit of a sharp point it would allow me to pick them a little bit quicker I have not had a chance to try it yet but uh, I have some homemade ones not nearly as beautiful as these uh, that design does work for me the other one is a standard hook I did change the angle on the tip of it very slightly to match the way I've been grinding some of mine. But I figured I'm in there ordering custom picks, why not get another hook? Can't have too many hooks, right? And it's just stunning. Every one of them is just, it truly is like glass looking at this thing. And I saved the best for last. You know, it's got a different handle. This is blue. And that's because I have a weakness for DeForest Diamonds. The problem is, commercially, you can't buy a DeForest Diamond thinner than 25 thousandths. Blue, to me, represents 15 thousandths, and in fact, that's what this is. It's a 15 thousandths, beautifully shaped DeForest Diamond. He, those are really difficult angles to hit when you're making picks, and Rev Tattoo, he hit it beautifully. This is absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to put this into some of those paracentric locks that have been living for a long time inside of my naughty bucket. I think I've just found uh, a new master key to help get in there. So there's the good. If you'd like to have some of these, I always believe in giving a call out to somebody in the lock sports community that's doing a good job, and I think uh, Rev Tattoo is. There's his email, or you can go directly to UKLS and find him that way, but uh, you're just going to run into this email address. So if you're interested in communicating with him or designing your own picks, there's his email. Contact him, and uh, he will hook you up. It, it, from the time I ordered these, Till the time they showed up at my door was about two weeks, which is just amazing for custom picks. The next thing is something you're just not going to believe. It is, I mean, we've had the cream of the crop. We've had the good. Now i got to end on the bad. A Master 140. You guys, you guys have seen these. They're a great training log when you're learning spools. And this was sent by a guy with, I thought this was an unfortunate name. I thought maybe his parents had actually named him this. Um... I was actually ready to go talk to his parents and give him a beat down. But then, uh, uh, in communicating with him, I figured out that's not his real name. Um, he found this on the shelf, and he thought it might be interesting to take a look at. Here's the bidding, or here's the not-so-bidding for this thing. This is supposedly full of spools. We have one standard and four spools in these Master uh, 140s. They're supposed to be somewhat high security. And you know what? I'm not going to insult my brand-new custom-made picks. Instead, let me see if I can get a tension wrench in there. Instead, I'm going to just attack this thing with nothing but a probe. And now, this is not how high security locks are supposed to work. I'm just going to push the pins up and just kind of rock back and forth with that tension wrench. Just bounce it. And that's how quick we get into this. I can't believe Master Lock's quality control would allow this to get through the production line and make it out to the field. Just Unbelievable, but I guess, you know, I guess we ought to be used to that by now. So anyway, there you go. The highest quality stuff I've seen in a long time and the not so highest quality. Anyway, fellas, I can't give away my new picks. I bought these uh, for myself, not with fan funding. I'm going to keep these, obviously, but if you would like... 
this not so high security master lock uh, 140 you are welcome to it you know what to do within 20 uh, leave your name within 24 hours the computer will randomly pick the poor fella that or or gal that gets this not so high security master 140 thanks for your time fellas stay safe Stay legal. This will teach me to end on such a quick note. I do have a couple of things I'd like to talk about. There are uh, several unclaimed items on the U1 uh, page of the website. Some of you guys have won some pick sets and some locks. You need to go there and check it out. I've made it easy because you sent in some suggestions. So now on the very top right of the page, you'll find a quick link to the U1 page. Made it a lot easier to get there. Just click that and it'll go right to that page. No digging in the menus. The other button up on the top right is a blog. You guys have talked me into it, and I am now a blogger. I have exactly one blog out there. But it gave you the results of the Sparrows uh, Vorax giveaway and talked about some of the suggestions, and it gives a link to a list of all the improvements you guys have asked for and that were desperately working on, believe me. Through the night, I got several techies struggling to get those things done. Anyway, fellas, sorry about the addendum, but I thought it was important that you know those things. Thanks, guys.